I'm Lara Logan and welcome back to this special report of 60 Minutes where Mika Davis interviews Marquis de Lafayette. Welcome General Marquis de Lafayette. What would you like me to call you? I'm happy to be here and Marquis is fine. Okay, let's get down to the questions. When and where were you born? I was born on the 6th of September 1757 in Auvergne, France. I was actually born as Marie Joseph Paul Yves Roche Gilbert de Montier. That is the same day that I was born, but 243 years after you. It is very interesting you've given such a long name, as today it is rare to find someone with such a long name. Did you have any tragedies as a young child? Yes, I did. My father was killed while fighting against the British in the Seven Years War, which was from 1756 till 1763. Then my mother and grandfather died when I was 13, leaving me as a wealthy orphan. Sorry about that. That's okay. I honestly don't remember much of them because it was such a long time ago. Could we please go on to the next question? Okay, so... What is your army story? I first volunteered to help America fight against England, but when I asked to go, I was refused by King Louis XVI. Later, I left to sail to America after I brought a ship with my own money. In June of 1777, I landed in what is now North Carolina. The Continental Congress had given me a commission as a major general, but my actual duty was to assist in General George Washington. I assisted in battles against the British in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I was later sent back to France in an attempt to gather French support for the Americans. When I returned to France in 1779, I was arrested for disobeying the king, but soon I was forgiven. Not all of my proposals for aid to the Americans were approved. I then returned to America in 1780 in command of the French forces that were sent to help. In 1781, I was given command of the defense of Virginia with the rank of Major General. When I returned to the French Army in 1782, I was considered a hero. I became a leader in the movement against the French monarchy. Slowly, my popularity declined and commanded my troops to fire on a mob in 1791, led to my dismissal as command of the Guard. The beginning of war against Austria and Prussia, that was a German kingdom that no longer exists. In 1792, I returned to military life as commander of the Army of the Ardennes. In August, I crossed over into Austria with a few other officers. I was captured and held as prisoner of war until 1797, when Napoleon Bonaparte made my release from jail, but did not permit me to return to France. I became so, so politically powerless that when I did return in 1799 without permission, I was given a military pension and allowed to live quietly in Le Grand France. That is quite a long story. Okay, so next question. Did you ever get married? Yes, I did, in 1773, to a lovely woman called Adrienne de Nolier. However, I was not ready to settle down to the life of a wealthy man. So after the outbreak of the American Revolution, I volunteered to help the country. Did you ever return to America? Yes, I did, in 1824, to be a guest of the government on a tour that lasted 15 months. Congress rewarded me for my efforts during the American Revolution with money and land. When I returned to France in 1825, I was known as the hero of two worlds. Did you ever regain political prominence? I actually didn't, until another revolution broke out in 1830. I was appointed to command the re-established National Guard. I supported the naming of Louis Philippe as a constitutional monarch. I was dismissed from the Guard the following year and became a critic of the new king. What do you think is your biggest influence? My biggest influence would be a living symbol of friendship between France and America, and of the men who wanted a better world but could not accept terror and cruelty as the ways to bring it into being. When and where would you want to pass away? On May 20 in Paris, surrounded by my friends and family, if they are still alive. Wow, 
he didn't even know who you wanted to be around. Thank you for coming today to talk to us about your amazing life. Back to you, Laura. Thank you for that very intriguing exclusive interview, Mika. Thank you for joining us and be sure to tune in next week when we interview Sia on her controversial new single, Elastic Heart. I actually didn't until Revolution... <laughs> I actually didn't until... <laughs>